Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So with the iPads getting incredibly powerful, you can really push the limits of this beloved tablets to the max. And in this video, I'd like to go through a few tips on how you can turn your iPad Air or iPad Pro into a work computer. Now, first thing you'll need is a stand or a dock. The iPad's design never incorporated a kickstand and always relied on cases to prop it. But thankfully, Apple added just the right amount of magnets into the redesigned iPad Air and iPad Pro to make things interesting. So here are a few stands that will give your iPad the perfect elevation for your work desk. First one is the Invisi iPad stand. Your iPad Air or Pro can stick magnetically to the stand and float like this, giving the perfect look just like an iMac. It also allows you to adjust the angle and orientation. The stand also has a hole for cable management and once you're done with your work, you can just snap off the iPad and take it along with you. My next favorite stand is this one from Binks. This stand gives you the complete adjustment options along with two new additions. One is a rotating base to angle your iPad the way you want it and the next is a collapsible option which allows you to collapse the stand completely making it portable so you can take it along with you as well. It's really simply perfect. Now, if you're looking for a stand which provides more versatility, then the MagFit float stand is simply perfect because besides providing the complete set of adjustments and being foldable so you can easily carry this along with you, this stand also has got a complete dock inbuilt into the base. This dock allows pass-through charging for your iPad along with providing various input-output options like HDMI port, USB ports and even a headphone jack. Simply brilliant as it transforms your iPad setup into a proper work computer. Next essential is a keyboard and a mouse. Now these peripherals add the missing element from your iPad setup. Having a tactile keyboard rather than relying on the on-screen keyboard improves your typing experience and the iPad OS's support of mouse-like functionality will complete this experience. My pick of the lot is the Logitech K380 Bluetooth keyboard and M350 mouse. The beauty of using a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse is that you don't need to use any dongles or adapters to connect to it. It is all done via Bluetooth. And the clean minimal look of this entire thing makes it perfect for an amazing iPad desk setup. Speaking of ports, the lack of multiple ports can easily be solved by the MagFit dock which I showed earlier or here's another option which pretty much covers all the missing ports needed. This is the Lenshin standing dock and it allows pass through charging along with giving you access to every other port that you'll need for your iPad work desk setup. Next is the Apple Pencil. Now, granted that the mouse pointer support for the iPad is pretty handy, but it does not behave like a traditional mouse pointer. And if you need to have much more precision control on your iPad, then the Apple Pencil Gen 2 is a must have accessory. It still is one of the best styluses available in the market. This Apple Pencil will enhance your user experience on your iPad, especially whilst using pro apps or spreadsheets where you need more precision control. Now, adding an external monitor to your iPad also adds extra screen real estate, which helps with productivity. What I here have is a portable monitor from the brand Wimaxit. This monitor is full HD and is portable just like the iPad. It comes with a folio case which folds off to become this thin slab or folds out like this forming the perfect stand. You can connect it to the iPad via a simple anchor dock which I have here that has HDMI connection option. Just plug it in and voila, you've got a bigger screen to work now. And if your iPad supports stage manager, then the big screen certainly helps. And if you have the M1 or M2 iPad, then you can use the full screen display on your external monitor with stage manager and do away with the ugly sidebars. Now, if you're that sort of person who takes the work on the go, then the ESR rebound keyboard case is absolutely a perfect option. This looks and works like the Apple's magic keyboard, but only costs about hundred pounds. You don't get the smart connector, but instead it uses Bluetooth Connect, charges via USB-C port, has a backlight and function keys row, which is missing on the Apple's version. Plus this one here has one of the best trackpad implementations that I've ever tested with the iPad. Next is another amazing stand for work on the go. And this is the Moft Snap 
float folio case. On the face of it, it just looks like a simple magnetic folio case for your iPad. But its clever design lets it transform into a stand for the iPad whilst your iPad Pro and iPad Air is still magnetically attached to the case. Talk about innovations and cool design, here is one. So a readily available stand on the go or at your desk, this moft folio snap stand case gives you the perfect elevation for your iPad for you to comfortably sit in front of it and work. Finally, the power of apps. The iPad app ecosystem is the best out there and nothing comes close to it when it comes to the wide variety of tablet optimized apps available. And no, we are not talking about blown up iPhone apps on the tablet, but proper apps designed to make use of the extra screen real estate of your iPad. So for work, you get the complete Microsoft Office suite or you can use password manager to protect your passwords. You can use Chrome browser with all your Google cloud services and bookmarks synced. You can use team viewers to control other PCs and laptops or Zoom for attending conferences and video calls. Then there is Trello for project management or just the default files app that almost has all the features of the equivalent PC or Mac OS counterpart. So you get everything from folders to searching for files, zipping them, drag and drop functionality along with copy and paste. So yes, you need to work within the boundaries of iPad OS, but slowly and steadily, that boundary is ever expanding. And I don't think it will be long before it overlaps with Mac OS, where you get full desktop class applications on this thin, ultra portable, ultra powerful tablet from Apple. So those are my tips on how to make your iPad Air or iPad Pro into your work computer. What are your thoughts about this guys? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions or anything, please do leave them down below and I'll try to respond to all of them. I'll leave links to all the products which I've used in this video down below as well, if you're interested to check them out. So hit that thumbs up button guys, if you're enjoying my content. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and show support so I can keep making these videos for you. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.